So, uh, start out by telling me about the film Vampire Academy. Well, the story is about two girls who are best friends and have a deep bond in that Rose can see and feel everything that Lissa's going through. And the film begins with them outside. I should tell you about the vampire world first. Um, they are, Lissa is a Maroi and Rose is a Dumpier. And uh, they are scared of the Strigoi, who are the undead vampires, and Rose is there to protect Lissa from the Strigoi. She's in training to do that. So the film begins with them outside the academy. They've run away, and then they're getting caught and taken back to this, this school that they've fled from because there's all these mysteries and darkness there. And so it's the story of two girls trying to deal with coming back to high school again for the first time in, in a year and all of the dynamics that have changed and all the bullying that then begins and the romances that start up while at the same time trying to figure out this mystery of all of these threats and, and evil happenings that, that start going on around them. And tell me about your character specifically. Lissa is a royal princess of the Maroi bloodline, of the Dragomir line, and she is really vulnerable and, and loving and caring. She has great empathy for everything, and she has, from that place, the power of spirit, um, which she isn't really familiar with, and, and it, it sort of is hard for her to control, and so she's really lucky that she has her best friend Rose to, to help her through, through all of these changes and, and, and the, the kind of dark place that, that these powers take her to. It's such a fun relationship between the two uh, best friends. Tell me about working with Zoe. It was so much fun. It was really great from the beginning. We, we had a great connection and it was wonderful to go through the process of making a film with someone that I could really genuinely connect with and, and grow with and it was um, yeah, making a film when you're with each other for every single night for two months. Um, it was, yeah, great to have a good friend by my side. Yeah. The movie has so many elements to it. I mean, you touched on this a little bit. There's the vampire aspect, there's the high school drama and just navigating through the regular high school world. Tell me about some of the elements of the film that make it so much fun and make it such a unique story. Well, the comedy, I think, is the, is the key to, to why it works, because it's like, it's a vampire film, that's been done before, but a comedy where we don't take ourselves seriously, that's, that's new, that's fresh. It's very, having Mark have directed, who directed Mean Girls, um, taking on a vampire film is wonderful because it gives it this really quirky thing. And Heathers, which was written by Daniel Waters, who wrote Mean Girls, is really, I mean, who wrote Vampire Academy, is really um, wonderful because it gives it this quirky freshness that, yeah, that's really wonderful. It is really funny, and there's also a lot of action, there's a lot of drama. Tell me, um, let's talk about how St. Vladimir's Academy is different than a regular school. What are some of the things that people can look forward to in kind of seeing this world? Well, at St. Vladimir's Academy, if you are Maroi, you can specialize in fire power, earth power, air power, or water power. So you learn, depending on, on what your magic is, then you will learn how to use that power. And if you are a Dumpier, you will learn to fight and how to protect the Maroi from the Strigoi. So the classes that are going on there are very different to a normal high school. And tell me about the, some of the normal high school things that you have to navigate through in the film. Um, the bullying, of course, every teenager will be able to relate to that. The, the cliques and the, the fake friendships and people trying to um, fight for power and fight over the boys and, and falling in love, um, as well as trying to prove, prove yourself to, to your friends and your peers. And um, it's wonderful the relationship between Rose and Lissa having this really grounding friendship that they can always bring each other back as all this craziness is going on, that they, they have each other there for support. That's the best part, the friendship. Uh, speaking of boys, tell me about working with Dominic in this film. It was so fun. It was really great to be with someone who was just so relaxed and had such a good sense of humor and we're both really like clumsy and kind of dorky so we would like fall over all the time and it was so wonderful because the, the scenes between Lissa and Christian are very intense. They're very like mysterious and there's all this like what's gonna happen? He's the dark one, she's the light one, you know what it's very tense, so it was 
great between scenes to be able to just laugh and kind of be goofy and, and, and make light of, of, of the tension. And tell me about working with Sarah, who's also in the film. She was so fun. She's amazing. She was really an amazing actress and she did Natalie so well. Like, it's so funny because she's this beautiful, beautiful girl and then she was playing this really nerdy, awkward, awkward girl and so the way that she would transform between her relaxed, confident self to being Natalie, like, kind of itching away in the corner was, it was amazing. She's such a great actress. Do you have any favourite moments from the film or anything that you think is going to stand out for an audience uh, watching the movie? Um... One of my favorite days was the uh, the day with the Queen when there was like all the the speeches and then the big presentation, um, as well as as the action. I loved watching things explode and people fighting and flying through the air. That was really fun, um, as well as the comedy. It's just got so much. It's hard to pick one element, and I think that's the the best thing about the film is that there is something for everyone and you can go along and you'll just have fun watching it because you're not going to get bored of, of not that you'd ever get bored of comedy, but you, you don't get sick of that genre because then you get the mystery as well and then you get the romance and then you get the friendship. It's just perfectly interwoven with this, this tone of kind of edgy humour. Now, it's based on books and they're very popular books. What do you think fans of the story can look forward to and get excited about? Everything. I think that fans of the books will, will love the film because it, it takes something that's so brilliant. It's, it's a great piece, this, this story. Um, Rochelle Mead is, is so talented. And it takes it into a new life. It kind of... Um, when, it was so great to meet Rochelle on set one day and I asked her, you know, what's it like to see all of your ideas suddenly flesh and, and blood? And she said that it was, the, the difference was that in her head she imagined things one way and then when it was translated into a film it was much grander. Like the, the classroom was huge and the costumes were these beautiful like um, blazers and so I think that I hope people can be ready to see everything kind of elevated to a whole new level of, of um, excitement and intensity that, um, that the movie genre can give this amazing story. Great, thank you so much, that's wonderful. Thank you.